Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this is the first one we did this morning. This was put up on Patreon only. Uh, there's some language in there that, and <laughs> not that we, we're swearing because we're not swearing, but we're just saying things kind of plainly. Ah, uh, you're not allowed to do that in some places. No, and, you know, we, we still kind of worry to this day. It's like, you know, I'm sure Patreon has some type of limits, but I guess we're um, we're like little kids and we're sort of checking the boundaries. It's true. Probing and testing boundaries. And, you know, with this, uh, it, it, this is a, a big one. I felt good about this one because it's, it's giving a lot of evidence that what we're seeing going on, this G-R-E-A-T, redo uh, use that do word it's just an ongoing program it really is we we are in a bigger one um, but this happens all the time and it is ultimately ultimately it's something that a lot of people I wonder how many people can actually accept the reality of it and not um, you know have their minds completely blown like Orson Welles' War of the Worlds, where people were literally going to jump off bridges and buildings because they couldn't handle the truth. But that wasn't the truth. But maybe it was. Well, <laughs> I, I do believe that was a, a test to see. Yeah, that was a test all the way back then. Uh, Indonesia's Mount Merapi erupted with ash plumes on the 3rd. Uh, this was a pretty good-sized eruption. As you can see, uh, it did erupt back in 2021 as well it it is a relatively active volcano and so to me like we were having this discussion it's just perplexing to me that people would even hike uh in vicinity of this unfortunately 11 people were killed by this eruption uh it reminds me of white volcano down in new zealand when that uh basically went off and again people were killed because they were sightseeing not a good idea and we do pray for these people that lost their lives but uh to me that's kind of um that's like skydiving uh without an instructor for the first time it, it is it is and i'm sure most people think oh you know it's not going to happen to me i mean what are the chances well for these the chances were and they it happened and especially in in this time because as we know uh, these are not typical times, even though uh, resets come and resets go. This is a mega flood ongoing from Cyclone Mishong in India. As you see, the vehicles bouncing like fishing bobbers. This uh, cyclone is, is just devastating the southeastern coastline of India. As we'll see uh, over here, you could see this. That's a street. Yep, it, it looks like it's a river now, and it's just sweeping away vehicles again. The first time I saw these type of events happening on a regular basis was in 2017, after the first uh, eclipse. And here you see this person makes note, no power, no water, drinking water sump contaminated with flood water, cars submerged, not a good situation at all. Tanzania, floods and landslides going on over there as well. Every single day across the glo globe, there is massive flooding events going on. You know, and I just always have to ask the question. Every time I see one of these things happen, one of these places, it's like, okay, what did they refuse the controllers? You know, what, what has happened and will we learn about it anytime soon? Because I do feel... So much of this right now is targeted, and if somebody doesn't do the right thing, it's like, okay, you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the lashing. You're gonna feel the wrath of the gods, yes, the, wrath the wrath of, of God, or the wrath of Klaus, or the wrath of, you know, the Illuminati, the wrath of, you know, the secret societies, wrath of the Anunnaki. Right. Now we're starting to get there. Okay. We're so this question out there, could the 2024 election cause society to collapse? Some preppers think so, and they're ready. And, you know, prepping channels are growing in leaps and bounds. It was interesting to see that a lot of people are, are prepping. And, and according to this one survey in the past 12 months, 39% of millennials, 40% of Generation Zs reported having spent money on prepping overall. 
About 30% of Americans surveyed reported taking steps towards emergency preparedness last year. That was up from 25% in 2017. So with all the chaos that went on, another way of looking at it is with all the chaos that's gone on between 2017 and now, only 5% have increased <laughs> prepping. We can look at it that way too. Um, you know, and of course, they're always pushing out one side of the story because they want you to really think that, you know, it, it really is um, a fair and just system which many people recognize now the system's not fair, it's not just, it's not even real. It's not even real. It's just, you know, so many people believe the WWE, WWF was real. It's hard to imagine that they actually did. But it's hard to imagine, like with you guys, I know that you guys know that it's it's not real. What what we see the mainstream reporting is is always it's sales. It's sales of one sort or another. And yet, you know, there are still those that I guess they believe in Santa Claus. It's perfectly fine to believe in the spirit of Christmas, but it's time to grow up and recognize that things are not as they uh have been portrayed to be. And again, almost 100% of the people that watch this video w will totally agree with us because, you know, again, you're you're the regulars and we'll get a few trolls that are probably paid uh, either either bots or they're real people that are just on payrolls of, you know, alphabet soups or some of the secret societies. Ultimately, they're working for the same source anyway. Dozens of troops suspected of advocating overthrow of U.S. government. New Pentagon extremism report says. Extremism, wh where's the real extremism? Isn't the real extremism in saying you must do this if you really truly care about you and your family in order to protect them? And then the reality is you probably should have done the exact opposite of what you were told. Many have. Many are thankful that they did. You know, so what what are they doing? Again, they want to create a civil war revolutionary. Um, well, if not a complete manifestation of civil war, at least create the conditions where people are agitated enough to you're, you're going to see all sorts of random chaos going on. And so this is from a Defense Department. Did you know that Marilyn Monroe, by the way, was on the DOD payroll? That is that was something it just popped up in my mind. I wanted to share that, and 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 and, and Cindy's shaking her head. No surprising, um, because she knew too much. And and this is again, so many people that leave this world. Oh, it's tragedy. You know, they 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 either took their own selves out or they OD'd or this or that. The reality is the system had to cover up tracks. Well, you know, sometimes if someone is not completely controllable, they, they are going to do what they're going to do and they're going to make it look like whatever they need to. So the control level is quite high. And, and, and it's really disturbing because so many people are going out and they're doing things and they're buying things and they're, and they're doing research, you know, based on information that, like Mike said, I mean, it's all, it's not real. It, it's fake. It's based on fake information because once you do this thing or buy that thing or do this research, if it's based on the, uh, the mainstream, you know, you're going to be probably disappointed. I mean, there's so many things that they, they hold back because it would threaten the money flow. And that's the real thing right now. So anyway, a report released Thursday by the Defense Department Inspector General revealed that in fiscal 2023, there was 183 allegations of extremism over all branches of military broken down, not only into efforts to overthrow the government and terrorism, but also advocating for widespread discrimination or violence. Now, of those, it'd be interesting to see which ones were actually insti insti instigated uh, themselves by either the Defense Department or or other uh, alphabet soups because, you know, this is what they do. They fan the flames. They, they sow discontent and they create a chaos out of which they can make order. Order ab chaos. Yes, absolutely. 
2,000 troops uh, called up at Moody Air Force Base. This is near Valdosta, Georgia. Called and told to be at the base at 6 a.m., packed and ready for deployment, not told uh, what's going to be happening. And 7,000 more troops on standby. Now, you know, readers out of context that there are no alerts issued by the base command. But again, is it just another rumor? Is it just hype? Well, look at everything else that's going on. So let's do that. And what do we see? <laughs> that's a lot of deployment. It, it, this, this, and the numbers don't really add up so much either. When you look at all this, this is massive. The amount of forces navally that are out there is just kind of staggering. And, you know, if I look at the numbers, 291 total battle force, 109 deployed, 73 underway. So, you know, that's 182 altogether out of 291 uh, that are either deployed or in the process of deploying. And I'm sure they're not giving us accurate info. That's the thing, too. So if this is what's going on, again, uh, it's it's busy out there, to say the least. You know, look at all this going on. And, you know, again, around China, around the Pacific Theater, it's just swarming in the Mediterranean and all around the Middle East. Uh, the Healy is just about to finish up um, circumnavigation of, of the globe. And so, you know, that's nothing, um, well, that's nothing directly involving wars per se. But you do have groups of mostly Chinese men crossing illegally into the U.S. border in California. Yeah, they've come in waves, and they've come in waves of Venezuelans, tons of Venezuelans that come through, um, many, many uh, from China as well. And again, military age, clean cut, seem to be in really good shape for the most part. Uh, you know, what can you say? It's pretty obvious what's going on here. And it is just a matter of time. We were talking about all the ships uh, being shot at. USS destroyer Kearney downs three drones in the Red Sea. Multiple commercial ships have been attacked. It's getting hard to keep up with all the different commercial ships that have been shot at. China says U.S. Navy ship seriously violated its sovereignty. And this is in the South China Sea. Again, they are... Uh, they're, they're stirring the pot and in many ways they're just waiting to see if there's going to be some sort of accident. When do you see boats lined up like that, right? These, these are again those fishing vessels that literally are equipped for war. This is a well-known fact. There's 135 Chinese militia ships swarming and where? This is in the West Philippine Sea. We had talked about the action and, and there will be action breaking out between China and the Philippines. It's all about control, as we've seen these fishing boats off of the coast of, of South America and Central America, too, at times. Hundreds of them. In fact, you know, they have thousands and thousands of ships like this. And it makes me think uh, about the great evacuation that was happening in World War II when they had to get so much of the military force, you know, out of northern France and over into uh, Great Britain because they were getting routed uh, by Nazi Germany. How did they do it? They did it with little boats. They did it with little bo boats. They moved so many people with little boats. Don't underestimate little boats, especially those that have military armaments on them. And they've also fished areas dry at the same time. So, and we keep seeing yellow and red everywhere. See if you notice all the yellow and red everywhere, the, the communist China colors. So despite Ukraine war needs, arms sales troubled by production woes. Only in the Western countries, though. <laughs> Only in the Western countries. And this is just interesting to look at it because they didn't even uh, take China into account until 2015 when you're talking about looking at the production of all these armaments. And so what, what's happening is now Asia, specifically um, you know, China, for instance, and some other areas, they're booming and their production's higher 
but the West is productions far lower. This is because they're just, again, switching, you know, their base of operations. It's so obvious. And this says it's over. It's, it's kind of got to be about over when you look at this. The annual interest payment is now higher than the annual defense spending. And when you realize defense spending is like half of all spending, half of all spending. It's not defense, you know, it's offensive. But all that has been forecast on the DEA GEL numbers, which again shows that U.S. military spending is going to be like nothing compared to what it was. However, you know, China's and Russia's and the other BRICS nations going up because again, they're just switching their power base. Why would they do that? Well, you know, it, it's, it's a lot easier to accomplish things in China than it is here. And again, when we see the Great Awakening going on with the great R-E-S-E-T in the sky, uh, people won't stand for it. So they need to have a new power structure to force us to stand for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, they have they have a lot of things. They have backups to the backups and they have people who, you know, will do what they need to do to keep the roof over their own head and make sure they can pay their own payments and make car payments. And I mean, times are definitely getting tough if you're watching the screen right now. People do some pretty heinous things and i have a feeling like karmically he's probably not going to have a great christmas but who am i i'm not the one to judge you know maybe he's just a guy who has a real hard time and he has a really nice vehicle but he can't really afford his own tree i don't know that is certainly not in the spirit of christmas and i just you know shame shame on you yes i agree i agree as we see the entitled there, Christmas in Democratic California. Oh, boy. Now, never eat peanut butter from a plastic jar. I hope you guys don't. Absolutely don't, because they, they do heat up the peanut butter to squirt it into the jars. And, we, you know, again, avoid plastics as much as you can, just plain and simple. So it leaches horrible toxins into the peanut butter and microplastics as we know there's tons of microplastics in everybody's poop linked to hormonal disruption cancer and more glass only yes you know it's incredibly easy to make peanut butter you know you need the peanuts i would go with organic throw them in a blender they blend themselves up and you have peanut butter and you can put it in your own real glass jar oil and salt and that's it that's it. They say when I when I was looking it up, you don't even have to add the oil. The peanuts do it for you. But, you know, do do to whatever level you want. Absolutely. And who is the boss? Well, well, right now you have like one tenth of one percent running this whole world and we don't know our own power. But again, if you've been intimidated by the power structure, you might hesitate to, you know, see if you could test it, you know, test its limits. We need to get out of the power structure. We need to create all alternatives. We need to starve them out because they are starving us out. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this this and thinking, you know, this is very much kind of like our house, except for Sassy is the one who says who can go where and what can happen. <laughs> but the other thing I, I really enjoyed, I wanted to point out is these animals, they say nothing, but look at the conversation. They like, they know they are not supposed to go back to the kitty. So, I mean, are they reading thoughts or is the kitty changing its vibration and the animals can know it's like their vibration has changed and they're picking up on that? These animals are absolute masters at reading energy. So we can learn a lot from them. Absolutely. And we can learn a lot from each other. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.